Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I'd really appreciate it and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you could see it and you could purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a piece unique Maitre du Temps Chapter 3, a dual time watch engineered and designed by a tag team of all-stars, Carrie Voudelainen and Andreas Streller. This is part of a model series that debuted in 2012, but truth be told, the watch on my wrist is entirely unique. It is a one of one, and as you can see, the case flank pusher, which decouples the two time zones, says only one. True fact, the dial has been miniature painted and customized entirely by a miniature painting maestro and acknowledged virtuoso. Andre Martinez of La Loque, Switzerland. Born in Spain, raised and educated in Switzerland, he is one of the points of reference for miniature painting on dials of watches. So you see the image of Andy Warhol's currency, so it is a pop art dual time 42 millimeter white gold piece unique independent brand watch. Got all that? Good. It's not a thick watch, as you can see on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it doesn't exactly tower above at 14 millimeters thick, given the complication, and it is significantly complicated. I think you're going to marvel at just how thin this watch is by the end of the video. Now lug to lug, you can see they're nicely curved, so the watch wraps itself around the wrist, but lug to lug, you're going to find the watch measures 49.9 millimeters, and I can recommend it for a wrist as small as 14 centimeters circumference. This is a watch that is classically styled in many respects, but the lug spacing of 22 millimeters is very modern and proportional. Now one of the reasons the watch wears so well on a smaller wrist is that it is drilled close to the case. You can see that the lugs are drilled quite close to the case, so the pivot point is actually less than 49 9.9 millimeters apart. The curved spring bar allows full motion of the strap without any encumbrance against the flank of the case. You also appreciate that the strap is rich. There is plenty of leather here. They are not shorting you. Large rectangular scale alligator leather bolstered, a handsome navy blue with a monotone stitch and a thick folded edge. You'll note it's a maitre du temps. Factory strap and brand new no gouging. Handmade, hand stitched and fitted to a custom maitre du temps matching white gold pin buckle. Nicely executed. You can see 18 karat to match the case. The case band is elegant and this is one of the elements most directly influenced by Kerry Voudelainen. You can see elements of Voudelainen and Streller in the watch and I'll go through that as we discuss the timepiece. But you can see externally the watch is more Kerry than Andreas. You can see the geometric faceting outboard of the crown as well as the somewhat vintage profile of the crown when viewed from the side. You'll also appreciate that there's a substantial step between the case flank and the bezel and the bezel itself is a concave profile. This is a design trait often used by haute de gamme brands to visually pare down the mass of a watch and you can see that the case has a wonderful fluid form and it is all of high polish, effectively black polished on its side. It's a gorgeous image. The dial is the star here and as you can see this is true hand painting. This was not digitally transferred or printed or wrapped. You can actually see as you roll, and you can see underneath my finger, as you roll this dial canvas through the light, the ridges of the actual lacquered paint accumulated on the dial to form the images. So this is truly a handcrafted masterpiece and we're just talking about the dial. The rest of the watch is suitably hand finished. Now the timepiece is somewhat simplified compared to a standard chapter 3. A standard chapter 3 would include a moon phase display as well as a pointer style date. This watch has been pared down to leave the effective canvas entirely unbroken. Now, a couple of different things going on here. You can see the hands are beautifully made, manually polished, and they are also of white gold. Pull the crown out, and you can set the watch, but you only set the dial. Andreas Streller comes into play with his hidden complication philosophy when you push the crown. That drops two panels that are otherwise flush with the dial. Note, it's not just covering the complication below, it is also drawing flush when you put it back into position. Now underneath, you can see there are two barrels. This is a signature of Maitre du Temp complications. They've made three watches, three collaborations, all feature the rollers. There are two 12-hour barrels 
and you can see that as I turn the watch, the barrels rotate. That is the second time zone. There is another hand-painted barrel that gives you the day-night. This is the image of the sun, and you can see as we jump from one 12-hour barrel to the next, that is how the 12-hour barrels keep track of a 24-hour time cycle. And you can see how as I adjust the watch on and on, we move into the night, and the barrel at 12 o'clock now indicates the image of the moon. So you're looking at 12 minutes. Midnight. Okay, push that back. By the way, to set the watch, what you do is you open up the windows and then you press a decoupling switch on the flank, the one that says only one. You press it and now you can set the watch. Pardon me. You got to press it and then put the watch in setting position. You put that second time zone on standby and freeze it in place. And thus, you are able to adjust the time at center without affecting that reference time zone. But what you want to do is you want to set the reference time zone first and then set the time at center. Everything back in place, cover up that second time zone, let's turn it over. The works is just as impressive. Now you can see the barrels from the reverse side. This is the SCH-03 movement. This is where you see a little bit more of Kerry Voudelainen. While the tooling and the engineering of the complication is Andreas Streller, the finishing, the style, the broad hand chamfers, that is the anglage on the bridges, the rich diagonal Cote de Genève, the black polished screws. You can see there's an interior angle around the center wheel. And if you get real close, you can even see that the spoke profiles of the wheels of the train are very different from any conventional watch. So it is a movement that is redolent of both masters and you can actually see their signatures silk screen. You've got Carrie at the top, Andreas Streller at the bottom. The balance beats weigh at 21,600 vibrations per hour adjusted in five positions. It is free sprung for shock resistance and it has an overcoil hairspring to help it keep excellent time in any orientation with respect to gravity. The 39 joule movement has a manual wind 36 hour power reserve because of the power intensive complication. So you're going to want to wind this watch every day but I can tell you that the winding spring and detent are amongst the best I've experienced so it is a tactile play. 30 meters water resistance, so it's not an aquatic watch, but then again, this isn't the kind of watch you would ever want to take swimming. You guys know what this is. It's a piece unique. It's a work of art inside and out. See it and live the dream on the watch box.